you are being watched. Please give us some money. I miss you guys too. Today, we're gonna go pick up Miley. She's coming back from the province. She's been gone for about a week. It is time for her to come home. On the way to pick her up, I gotta pick up my friend Joko. He's here from the Philippines. He came here for a week. You guys are gonna have to excuse the fan noise. Today is really, really hot. And I just got out of the shower. So, you know, when you first come out of the shower in a humid place like Thailand, I don't know about you guys, but I get like, I get extra hot. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I like taking cold showers, but even even after a cold shower, I come out and I feel like this. So yeah, I have the fan right next to me. So it might be a little bit of background noise with the fan. So today, somebody pretty much accused us or me of scamming people. <laughs> Let me read you the first comment that this person left. Just so you know, we are watching your efforts. The efforts part is in quotations marks. To raise money for the orphanage, a tactic us old timers have seen many times. Day money ends up not going to them. Again, you are being watched. <laughs> Let's talk about this. So number one, there's no effort to raise money to the orphanage. I never set up a fundraiser. I never made a video. I never went on live talking about I'm raising money to the orphanage. What he's talking about is the video when I dropped off Miley at the airport when she went home and we talked about the money that some of you guys gave us, we're gonna take to the orphanage. The money from the super chats we're gonna take to the orphanage because one of you one of you started it one of you said hey alex here's a hundred dollars please share it during thanksgiving she didn't say give it to the orphanage she didn't say give it to a specific person or whatever she just said i want somebody to have a good thanksgiving so here's a hundred dollars please give it to somebody that's in need we decided to take the hundred dollars and take it to the orphanage. So during the last live, somebody else said, here's some money. We saw you that you went to the orphanage last time. Can you do it again? So that's pretty much our raising funds to the orphanage was. I never set up a fundraiser. I never made a video asking you guys for money for the orphanage, you know, nothing like that. Some of you guys gave us money and you guys told us to give it to the orphanage or somebody in need. Oh, let me read you the second comment he left. I said, you're not watching closely then. Gotta love people like you. Meaning, he doesn't know what he's talking about. The comment he left makes no sense. So he goes, no, I won't. Others will that have exposed con men in the past. We have seen this so many times. Dude, go home. You cannot afford to live here. This never ends well. Once this begging bowl comes out, take it from someone that's been here a long time and seen this story so many times. <sighs> I have never begged for money. <laughs> I have never asked you guys for money. I have. If, if I'm wrong, please tell me. Please point to a video that we made, a live that we had, where I said, guys, give me some money or help me raise some money for an orphanage or a good cause or anything like that. As a matter of fact, Miley and I went to a fundraiser not too long ago. And before we went there, we did not make a video asking for help. We did not make a video saying, hey guys, you know, this weekend we're gonna go to a fundraiser. Please help us pay for the tickets, which the tickets cost 2,000 baht each, one for me, one for Miley. So it was 4,000 baht. And then once we got there, we actually gave more money. We made a video about it and we put it out and we put info on the organization that we, that we went to support just in case you guys wanna help out directly to that place. We didn't say give us the money and then we take it from, 
to them. Nothing like that. Also, the hundred dollars that I was talking about for the last time we went to the orphanage, when you guys give super chats, we only get 70% of the money that's given through super chats. YouTube keeps 30%. The person that gave me a hundred dollars, I only saw seventy dollars. I put the extra thirty dollars to match the one hundred that she gave to us. So if I cannot afford to live here, <laughs> why am I putting in that extra money that YouTube took for me? I'm coming out of pocket to make sure the one hundred dollars that she sent goes to the orphanage. Yeah, I mean we have been to orphanages before without asking for anything, without saying we're gonna go there next Saturday. If you guys wanna help out, please give us some money so we can take it there. I have never ever done that. I will never ever do that. If you guys tell me, hey Alex, here's $10, please give it to somebody who needs it. I will gladly take those $10 and go outside and whoever I feel needs the money, I will give it to them. I will put it on video so you guys, so you guys can see the money went to where you wanted it to go. But yeah, this dude is, uh, is too funny, man. I am not gonna say I am never gonna ask for help because shit happens in life, right? I might find myself in a horrible situation, knocking on wood, that's never gonna happen. I have health insurance. I have, I retired from the military. I got money saved up. If something happens, even with us, you know, we, we take care of it. And have you never seen me start a GoFundMe you know, and you have never seen me ask for money to go on a trip or whatever, you know. But maybe one day I'm gonna find myself in a bad situation and I might reach out and ask for help. But until now, never once have I asked for money, ever. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's, uh, anyways, I just wanted to address that comment because number one, it's dumb. Most of you guys know me. Most of you guys know what I'm about from what you have seen in the video. Of course, you don't know me personally, so you can't really speak too much about my character. But from the little window you guys have into my life, everything I said I was going to do, I have done it. But again, I don't want somebody reading the comment, especially you guys that have given super chats and feel like I'm scamming you or I'm trying to rip you off. You know, that's, I hate scammers. I hate them with a passion. So that's that's the second reason I made this video because, oh man, I, I hate when people take advantage of other people. I have never been like that. I am never gonna be like that and, you know, but, but anyways, it is time to get out of here. It is time to go pick up Choco, take him to the airport, pick up Miley, and I know you guys miss her. I miss you guys too. Let's get out of here. Again, I'm watching. You got everything? Yep. Where's the exit? I think it's that way. We made it to the airport. Miley is landing at 5.45. It is about 5.20, so I got time to get me some coffee. What time is your flight? And there's a whole lot of people arriving today. Look at that. All for the weed. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the second floor. I think you gotta go to the first floor. Oh, what about this one? That's the way. Oh, okay. Joker's gonna take the shadow down to DMK Airport. I'm gonna get some Starbucks. See you soon, bro.
Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, got my coffee. Miley just landed, so let's go meet her. All right, let's see if we can find Lady M. There's a whole lot of people here. And she's kind of small. <laughs> she told me she's on B6. That's five. So just up the road. Where are you at, Lady M? There she is. My father called me. What do you say? Where? Where are you? Are you home yet? Are you all right? <laughs> Not home yet. We have an hour and a half yeah. to get home. Everybody says they miss you. I miss you guys too. I hope they you don't know, block. Maybe huh? yesterday, my Andy, mm -hmm. my aunt, she made me drink because special day for me, you know, like like the one I sent you. Yes. And then she made me drink. I don't want to drink. Do you get drunk? No. Oh. Not like that much, but oh, okay. still like a little bit. What do you drink? She made me drink white whiskey. No. Where you park. I never forget. <laughs> See? You get what you needed? Yes. We had to stop at the pharmacy because Miley got a headache. You want to go to the 7-Eleven or the one over there? Over there. Okay, let's go. Okay. What do you say? I want something hot. Okay. What kind of food are you looking for? Some soup. Soup, soup, soup. Like noodles? Soup, soup. Yes. Oh. How you feel? I want to see the bunny. Okay, let's go see the bunnies. Oh my god. Hello, Goldie. Pepper. How are you, baby? Oh, hi, Gordy. See how much the poo poo look? Yes. You should put the Look how gold It's like a ball of fur. Mm. You miss me, Gordy? Pepper? Where's Come Pepper? Mama. Mama, mama, mama. Oh. Pepper's oh, getting big. Get bigger. Look at her. Mm. She's going to be bigger. Because look at her ears. Oh. Pepper, pepper. Mama gonna go shower because you, your dad's so hungry. You know, I need to make uh, food for him. He's so hungry. So I will pay with you later, okay? Okay, okay. Mwah. Really give him this. Oh, that's a lot. Just put it on the floor. Oh, oh. Okay. Need to shake this. Have to put the thing like, like tissue. They poop everywhere. Look at that. Yes. I, but you know, I cleaned before I went to pick you up. But it's better than this. Oh my God. They're like. Cap, 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 yes. Cap. That's from your mom. Yes. That's from your dad. Yes. You know, if you Isan people, you know that. <laughs> it's like a ceremony. Yes. Okay. Look, look. Oh, so cute. We are home. That is it for today's video. Lady M is back. Yes, I am back. 
Hope everybody enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, like, dislike, do whatever you want to do. Until next time. We are out. สวัสดีค่ะบ๊ายบาย Radio.